I prayed for this child. First book of Samuel, chapter 1, verse 27. Devout souls delight to look upon those mercies that they have obtained in answer to prayer, for they can see God's special love in them. When we can name our blessings, Samuel, that is, asked of God, they will be as dear to us as her child was to Hannah. Penina had many children, but they came as a common blessing unsought in prayer. Hannah's one heaven-given child was infinitely dearer, because he was the fruit of earnest pleadings. How sweet was that water to Samson, which he found at the well of the one who prayed. Quasia cups turn all waters bitter, but the cup of prayer puts a sweetness into the draughts it brings. Did we pray for the conversion of our children? How doubly sweet when they are saved, to see in them our own petitions fulfilled. Better to rejoice over them as the fruit of our pleadings than as the mere fruit of our bodies. Have we sought of the Lord some choice spiritual gift? When it comes for, to us, it will be wrapped in the gold cloth of God's faithfulness and truth, and so be doubly precious. Have we petitioned for success in the Lord's work? How joyful is the prosperity which comes flying upon the wings of prayer. It is always best to get blessings into our house in the legitimate way, by the door of prayer, for then they are truly blessings indeed and not temptations. Even when the prayer is perhaps delayed, the blessings grow all the richer for the delay. The child Jesus was all the more lovely in the eyes of Mary, when she found him after having sought him in sorrow. That which we win bright by prayer, we should dedicate to God, as Hannah dedicated Samuel. The gift came from heaven, let it return to heaven. Prayer brought it, gratitude sang over it, over it. let devotion consecrate it. It will be a special occasion for saying, Of my own have I given to you. Prayer is the element of our weakness all too often. Amen.